lights. Okay, all right everybody. This is a bit of a different one. I've just been dropped off on the Minkies, which is a, a tiny collection of islands and rocks off the coast of Jersey, off the south coast of Jersey. Uh, I don't know, like maybe 20 miles or something, no, 10, 20 miles off the coast of Jersey. Got my dead shark down there in case I get hungry. I don't know if you can see that. Um, made a friend already. Basically gonna film as much as I can. I've got the drone, I've got the slide pod, and uh, I've got the camera. Plenty of goals, plenty of things around here to see. Looks lovely. Let's get rolling. Right, so, quick little bit of history on the sign here. At high tide, which is about now, only rocky heads are exposed, so I can't really go off this one part of the island, but when the rock shelf that this is on uh, is larger than the whole of Jersey. 95.75 kilometers squared. What else we got? Yeah, 20 kilometers due south of, of Jersey. The pristine nature of the reef provides important feeding, breeding, and nursery grounds for many marine species. Dolphins, gray seals, ground nesting seabirds, including terns, gulls, cormorants, and shags. Let's get cracking. Ugh. The minkies contain a collection of about 10 cottages used for storage and refuge by passing sea users. They are the most southerly buildings in the UK, including the most southerly toilet, which I utilized. The land area changes dramatically dependent on the Jersey tides, which are 10 meters which could leave you stranded for hours far from the main islands. Over the years, the Minkies' location have resulted in many a quirky story. In 1945, three weeks after the war ended, a small band of German soldiers were found on the islands. They asked for surrender, saying that they'd been forgotten about. 25 years later, the body of Prime Minister Felix Gaillard was found after his yacht was shipwrecked amongst the rocks. And in 1998, an unofficial French posse of seven invaded the Minkies on behalf of the Kingdom of Patagonia, in retaliation for the British occupation of the Falklands. The invasion lasted just one day when local Jerseyman Peter Morant and his wife Anne replaced the invader's flag with the Union Jack. Repossession was confirmed by PC Graham Fitchett. But now, the Minkies are just a wonderful bunch of rocks, providing shelter for seabirds, seals, passing sailors, and now, apparently, me. Just heading up to the top point here. Uh, it's pretty hairy, so I'll take my. That's not that bad. Take my flip flops off. You can see. Good. Amount around the island. And that's stunning, that. Right. There's the toilet. <laughs> and we've got the more rocks. When this is low tide, all of this is connected. You can walk between a lot of this. But right now, we cannot. Still haven't spotted any seals though. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for them. Lots of oyster catchers down there. Uh, see one on the end of the rock there. Uh, just there. And uh, there's uh, more on that rock there. And lots of birds, lots of birds. But I'm gonna have a walk around the island and see if I can see some seals. This white stuff and that all down there, that. And you can see it on the rocks down there. That's what's called guano, and that is bird poo. Right, there's loads of it, which is good. Uh, there's a, currently a world shortage of guano, and um, I don't know, people kind of scrape it off and clear it away sometimes to make room for you know hotels and things, but uh, it, it can get really, really thick, and birds actually nest on it, so it's a really important, uh, would you believe, really important thing. So we need to not be scraping away guano for resorts. Uh, not so much here, but in South America, I know it's a big problem. Um, but uh, yes, guano, look at that. What a wonderful mess. Just make sure we get down safely. Okay. 
Hey, yeah, that's working actually. So what have we seen? We've been here for about four hours now, pretty hot. Uh, I've found my little patch of shade just here. Uh, it's very nice, very relaxing, and I've just been filming basically as all, all as much as I can for the last last few hours. I finished all my food, drunk all my water, and I'm waiting to be picked up. Sadly seen no seals. I would have loved to have seen seals, but I, I've walked around the entire island like twice here um, and, and didn't see any. Uh, got some nice colonies of turnstones. I believe they're turnstones, they look like it. Lots of oyster catchers that seem to be sort of protecting the turnstone colonies, you know. And they just make a racket, they make so much noise whenever anything gets near the, the oyster catchers. I do like them, but they're very noisy. Then the, um, the terns. They are, I think they're nesting, and there's a sign that says don't go any, don't go up here because the nests are there. So, um, by the time I get to the sign, um, they're already dive bombing me. So obviously I'm not going to go any further. But they're really aggressive. They're so aggressive. Those terns. They're defending their nests, like their nests depend on it. Got some little passerines behind here that I'm failing to film. They're they're, they're jumping in and out of this green green stuff but they're extremely well camouflaged and they're very nice looking birds so I'm not sure what they are but uh, I'll have to have, have a look in an ID guide uh, and other than that uh, haven't seen the seals haven't seen any dolphins there are cormorants and shags around they look cool but they're quite far away they're on the, the more uh, orbital rocks you know around the edge I presume in low tide it would be easier to go and go and get to see those but um, enjoy some final shots of these amazing little rocky islands in the middle of nowhere between England and France. All right, in a bit. Thank you. 